Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Welcome to the podcast. Estoy, Matt. Soy. Estoy. I, I, I am feeling <laughs> you Matt. Are, you are temporarily Matt. I am temporarily feeling well, Matt. Soy Raquel. Good, good. Uh, and this is the coolest stuff on the planet. That's correct. Today, we are heading to the Amazon rainforest, but we're making a very specific stop in Peru. We love Peru, as you've noticed throughout these podcasts. Uh, and and the Brazilian the Brazilian Amazon often gets a lot of the attention when you're talking about the Amazon rainforest. Uh-huh. But Peru's section of this massive rainforest is quite spectacular in itself. It is. Um, I mean, after all, the Amazon River, which kind of feeds the whole system, and the rainforest starts out in Peru. This massive river and its thousands of tributaries, along with the warm tropical climate, it sustains the world's largest tracts of rainforest and some of the most amazing biodiversity on the planet. So Peru has almost, well, let's say about, Peru has about 255,000 square miles of rainforest. Which is about 10% of the whole. Yes, yes. Which means the whole thing is huge. Yes. Much of which of this rainforest is protected by preserves and national parks. Mm -hmm. So one of the, well, the largest, in fact, in Peru is called the Manu National Park and Biosphere Reserve. And it's uh, 4.4 million acres. Um, and it's it's said to be the most biodiverse area in the world. That's it awesome. has, and get this, Matt, a thousand species of birds, 200 species of mammals, and 15,000 species of flowering plants. And that's just the ones they've discovered so far. Jeez. And they've got people roaming around there looking for new stuff all the time. Ah, <sighs> stream it in, guys. Stream it in. The Manu area is a great place to spot mammals, like the capybara, the ant, giant anteaters, giant otters. They don't make things small there, do they? And the They're tapir. All giant. See, yeah, exactly. The tapir. Uh, tapirs are adorably weird-looking herbivores that are related to horses and rhinos, and they have prehensile noses. Now, it looks kind of like an elephant, like a tiny little short elephant's nose, and it helps them forage for food. They can smell really well with those guys. It's so strange the way it moves, like. It looks a little it's, funny. It's a little funny. When you're not used to those prehensile noses. Yes. <laughs> and one of the best places to see these tapirs in this area um, is the Manu Wildlife Center, which is a popular eco-lodge mm-hmm. in, in the region. And so tapirs come to this uh, nearby mineral lick, and basically they lick and eat the clays, which helps them to neutralize toxins in their diet. Hmm. And th- they're not the only animals who like to eat that clay. There's a big old clay lick... Or they're, they're also cliffs, I guess, just clay, cliffs made out of clay. It's near the wildlife center where macaws flock every day. So macaws, you know, these guys, look at them. They're beautiful. They're colorful. The ones we, the ones we mentioned in the, the Pantanal episode. Yeah, the macaws. They're, uh, they're basically large parrots, and they eat the clay also to neutralize dietary toxins, get minerals from the soil, and possibly to socialize and hang out over there. In fact, Matt, yes. we have a video on our website that shows the macaws um, at the clay, at the clay lake. Mm-hmm. And the video is, the title is great. It's called Parrot Detox. Yes. That's fun. And you will find lots of birds in the reserve, as we said. Um, actually, 10% of all bird species on the planet are found in this area. Nice. Which is impressive. Yeah, it's very impressive. Of course, with the Amazon, you're going to see all sorts of amazing, weird, and wonderful animals, right? Mm-hmm. So we can't mention them all because... We need like a, you know, 50 minute podcast for that or more. Um, But we're going to mention some of the coolest ones because they're awesome and we can. Agreed. So some of these species include the poison dart frogs, giant cane toads, leaf cutter ants. Mm -hmm. I love those. And these awesome looking red eyed crickets. You see them? They're black and red. Oh, those are kind of creepy. I do like them though. Oh, oh, you're also going to see, guess what? It, not bears this time, monkeys. Monkeys! Spider monkeys. Our best friends monkeys. Yeah, exactly. We see them everywhere. You're going to find spider monkeys, howler monkeys, emperor tamarins. Oh, and you'll you'll recognize these little emperor tamarins by their, their large white monkey stashes. You can see, look at their little monkey stashes. They stash. remind me of the Lorax, actually. It is a lot like the Lorax. I am the tamarin. I speak for the trees. <laughs> it does. So we could keep on going, but I think we're going to have to stop. We're done. That's the end. Say bye-bye to the Peruvian Amazon. Au revoir. 
And um, But if you'd like to learn more about Peru, the Amazon River, the Amazon Basin, deforestation, the Manu Biosphere Reserve, monkey or macaws, stashes. or monkey stashes, go to HowStuffWorks.com and you know what to do. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.